Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about a way to save your fish. And uh, it has to do with controlling the temperature in your aquarium and uh, not letting your heater actually, uh, actually cook your fish. Let's get into it right now. If you're new to the channel and you always like to be learning and about new ideas and about equipment and advanced concepts, beginning concepts, uh, new world cichlids, African cichlids, uh, be sure to hit that, uh, hit that sub button and hit that uh, notification bell. That way you'll be, uh, you'll be informed when new, new content is uploaded to YouTube. So uh, what I want to talk with you today is uh, talk with you about today is this product that I received from uh, my friends over over at um, over at the Cichlid Shack and uh, James Largo at the Cichlid Shack and this is called a true temp digital heater controller and true temp uh, claims to be the most accurate uh, controller in the market accurate up to 0.5 degrees of accuracy. What this does is it doesn't allow the most common complaint that I hear about uh, about heater malfunctions, which is the the thermostat in a heater. Uh, the thing that actually gets it heating sometimes can malfunction. And if I if I understand it correctly, there's two points that uh, when they are connected, they the heater starts heating. And uh, when it hits the desired temperature, they're, they're separated. But sometimes those points actually stick. And if they stick, your heater will just keep on heating and keep on heating and take your tank up into the 90s and into temperatures that your fish, your fish just can't tolerate. One way to actually avoid that uh, from happening is to use something like this, a, an, a, uh, a controller. And this controller here is very simple to operate. You, you simply, uh, all you do is you plug, you plug your heater into the bottom. You plug your heater into the bottom. Uh, you plug it in. You, you put the, this, this sensor, this is the, uh, the heat sensor. That just plugs into the bottom. Has a little jack down here, just plugs in. And then this, this drops into your aquarium and is attached to the aquarium wall with a suction cup that is provided by True Temp. You can see it here, a little suction cup. And uh, what I like about it is that the readout is very, very, um, it's very easy to read. There is a calibration. Uh, in other words, you, you do a temperature check in your tank. And uh, in my case, what I did is I used a, a, a digital thermometer that I have around here somewhere, probably in my pocket. And you, you use something like this, a digital thermometer. You measure, you measure the temperature, and then you calibrate this to make sure that it's exactly, that, that it is set exactly right. So it's calibrated perfectly. And then you, you, you set the temperature that you want uh, the heater uh, to, to operate at. Now, the way I use uh, controllers, this is the way I use them. I, I set I set the controller higher than than the heater. In other words, I'll set the heater at let's say 78 degrees. I'll set the controller at 80. My purpose for using the controller is is to cut off power in the event that the heater were, were to get stuck and try and overheat. So I'll set the controller cut off at 80 degrees. And I'll set the thermostat on my uh, on my heater at 78. Sometimes they'll they'll suggest that you that you set them exactly the same. But when I when I did that, I, I just noticed the heater kept going on and off, on and off, on and off. And I just don't think personally, I just don't think that that's good for any appliance uh, or any piece of equipment to be constantly switching it on and off. You know, as it as it you know, sticks in that one little point there. So. I'll just, uh, I'll put this at, I'll set this at 80, 
and I'll set the uh, the the heater at 70 at 78 uh, and what that also does is it gives me a little bit of wiggle room if let's say I'm doing something like treating ick and I want to kick up the temperature of the heater I can and I, and I already have this set for 80 so it gives me a couple degrees of uh, of heat up heat up time you can pick these up uh, probably anywhere you can get them certainly at the at the cichlid shack and uh, if you do use the uh, the uh, shack attack 10 and you'll get a 10 percent discount on these uh, true temp true temp supposedly the most accurate uh, controllers in the market you'll get a 10 percent discount they come with uh, everything you need to get it going uh, as well as a, um, a little clip to keep all your wires uh, in order, and uh, which is good. So that's my recommendation. If you have experience with uh, controllers or you've experienced a situation where a controller could have made a difference for you, I'd like to hear your story in the comments below. Be sure to share them. I have one of these already operating. You probably see it over my shoulder here. You see it right there. Let me see if I can get you a close-up on it. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's currently reading 77.3. And uh, I discovered by doing a digital reading of the tank that even though the uh, cobalt heater was set at 78, the tank was running a little bit on the cool side. So I've set the, uh, I've, I've kicked the cobalt heater up a notch. And uh, so I'm doing some calibration here currently. I just installed this uh, controller. But as you can see, it's very easy for you to tell what temp you're running at. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream where we can talk about this and whatever else is on your mind in a live format, which is actually a lot of fun. All right. Hope to see you then. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.